All right, folks. This is a 2012 Explorer, and I want you to hear this noise. You hear that? If you hear this noise, this is what you got to repair to get it done. Now, if you check this out and look closely, and you heard that clunk noise, do you see how the on the passenger side, I was only hearing on the passenger side, but do you see how this bolt is literally coming, loosening itself? Look at this, compared to the bottom one. Look how much thread is on the bottom one compared to the top one. It's like only two threads left. So this bolt literally was coming loose on its own. And the freaking um, strut, every time I turn the wheel, it's basically banging against, going blong, blong, because it didn't have all the struts, bolts on the bottom tightened correctly. Let's check out the driver's side. Look at the driver's side, everything is flush compared to the passenger side. I'm gonna change my strut anyway. I got my strut from 1.8 Auto. They made a video, I'm gonna make one too. But yeah, ain't that crazy? But let's see if it'll fix the problem. I think it will once I put these new struts on. All right, more to come. All right, folks, this is how to change strut rod assembly on a 2011, I guess, 17 Ford Explorer tools you're going to need is a ratchet, 50 millimeter wrench, 5 8 wrench, 50 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. And you're going to need a 5 16 socket. That goes for the, um, the strut bolts right here. The 5 15 16 socket goes for the strut bolts right here. Your 7 8 goes for the stabilizer end link or sway bar end links right here just to get it loose because you're going to need the 10 once it starts spinning you're going to need a 10 to hold it and then use your 7th 8th wrench to basically loosen it all the way out like that and i'm also going to replace my end links but they haven't came yet so but basically all you do is take the top one off and then take the bottom one that's connected to sway bar and yeah that's about it it's not a very hard task but once you do that, you'll be basically done with the job. So what you're going to have to do after that is loosen these right here. So you're going to want your 15 16th here. And you're going to need your 7th, 8th wrench here to hold it like this. So you can use your impact or a wrench. I mean ratchet and get it off I use my impact take these two off also make sure take off your emergency I mean your ABS sensor cable so you don't mess that up and you already know you're gonna need jack stand and all that and a jack but once you do that this whole basic assembly is gonna drop you're gonna to want to hold it to make sure that there's no tension on the brake line so you know me my dad always told me to put a tire under it because one of his friend got killed back in jamaica from that so i always put a tire underneath any car i work on because even if it's on a lift i still don't trust it but that's just me and yeah once i get that off both of them i'll show you what's next so as you can see i got the bolts out and i got my sway bar end link out so basically this is ready to come out i just gotta get the top bolts and like I said those are 15s you also gonna need a 15 socket and a wrench you're gonna have to use a combination of both because I'm gonna show you when I get up top some of them is hard to get due to the angle maybe on this side it might be better but the angle on the passenger side I really was struggling I had to use a wrench and a socket to get it Damn, I can't even get my camera up. well not even my camera my phone to stay straight Okay. And then, just like that. Kind of tight, but that's all you do. Just like that. They're a little tight. It's kind of hard to get the back ones, so that's why I got the. 15 to go back here so you could get them easier.
But yeah, just showing you that. Once you get those, you take out the um basically the rotor part, take that out, and the strut will come right on up. Show you that once I'm done. So yeah, you know that you're gonna want to make sure that everything lines up with the same as the old strut, which it does. And it even comes with new hardware, new nuts. So I would, thought I had to say the old one, but it comes with new hardware, so you could throw all the old ones away. But yeah, now we're just gonna go install it. So you know, install it, reverse it. You put it in from the top, and then put the freaking assembly, the rotor and all that good stuff, push it into the slot right here. But I'll show you when I do it. More to come, peace. Okay, the struts are on both sides. Everything looks good, tightened up. I didn't get to take this off, the end link, because I was having a hard time getting the bottom off, but I'll probably do that in a later video. But that's basically how you put on a 2011 to 17, I think, Ford Explorer strut assembly. But yeah, more to come. Later. And also the weather stopped me too, so it's about to rain. But yeah, we got the most important part done, the struts are on. So, I could drive her again. Well, I was already driving her, but drive her better. Because the suspension is better now. But alright, more to come, peace. Guys, I finished the strut repair, and what is that? See, don't hear that noise no more. Well, the struts were probably still good, but I was going to change them anyway because I already ordered them. But well, the problem was that one of the bolts, the upper mount strut bolt was coming loose. The nut was coming off the bolt. I don't know how, but it was coming off. So I replaced it anyway and just put... I did use the same hardware, but I did replace the strut. But I tightened the hell up out of it. But if you ever hear that noise, that clunking noise, most likely, it's the strut bolt. It's coming loose. You might need to tighten it or replace it. It's up to you, depending if it's bad or anything. But I'm going to show pictures at the end of the video so you can see how it looks and you can see the difference. But overall, it was an easy repair. You could do it yourself in the driveway. All you need is a jack, jack stand and the tools I showed in the video. All right, later.